Uh, hi, my name is uh, David. Uh, today, on, I want to uh, show you how to open uh, an Amazon uh, store. Um, the process is pretty simple, and it only takes about um, uh, half an hour to one hour uh, to finish. So before we get into the uh, detail, uh, I want to discuss with you an important concept, um, and that is uh, Amazon has um, uh, different branches in uh, different countries, and um, the Amazon store in different countries, they are different, and you have to register uh, with different country uh, separately. Um, although um, there are some similarities, there are also uh, some differences. Uh, my suggestion uh, would be uh, for you to first open your store in, uh, in the USA. First, the US has a big market uh, for Amazon. And second, so it is uh, it's the best system. And finally, another uh, important uh, point is that if your store is successful in, uh, in the USA, then you are going to get invitations from Amazon uh, from many, many different countries. Now, in my own case, um, I received invitations to, to uh, expand my store to Singapore, to Japan, to Australia, to European countries, uh, to Middle East countries uh, all the time. So in order to open your store on Amazon, uh, you need uh, several things. Uh, first is your email address. Now if you already have an Amazon.com shopping uh, account and you have that email address, you can use it for your business, for your store as well. Uh, as you know, and we all know, sometimes our personal email address is very strange. It's like, you know, cat and dogs at yahoo.com. And you don't want to use this type of email address to communicate with your business, uh, your customer, right? But don't worry about it because you can use your dog and cat at, at yahoo.com uh, just to register your Amazon store. And later, you can change to uh, any email you want, and particularly, you know, if, when you have a company then you can uh, uh, substitute uh, uh, current uh, catdoc.com you know, with your um, uh, business uh, email address. Okay, that's no problem. So the second thing you need is uh, your credit card. And uh, Amazon is going to charge your credit card for the fee associated with your activity uh, in Amazon. And the third thing that you need is your bank account. Uh, you need to have the routing uh, number and the uh, bank account number um, and Amazon will deposit the sales uh, uh, from the website into your uh, bank accounts. The last thing you need to, do to uh, for opening your business is the uh, relevant uh, tax uh, information. So um, if you um, you are going to register your business you know, under your name, your personal name, then all you need is a social uh, security number. If you want to open the Amazon store uh, using a business, then um, you need uh, your company's uh, tax uh, identification number, and that is the uh, federal employer tax identification number, and that's um, EIN, okay? So with all this, uh, we are ready. Uh, to uh, register uh, uh, the business. Uh, one more thing uh, before, I, I, before I forget is that um, as far as you are a U.S. citizen and, um, or U.S. Uh, resident, and then you have social security number, then you can uh, register either use your social security number or the uh, company uh, EIN number, as I, told, as I said. However, if you are uh, a foreigner, <clears throat> let's say you are, you are in China or you are in or Canada and then you want to uh, come to register a business, uh, the Amazon business uh, in the United States, then um, the requirement may be different. Now, for instance, uh, for people in China, um, they, uh, they need to use that business license number uh, to register uh, the Amazon store. So to register uh, for your business, um, you go to Sales Central at Amazon.com. Uh, uh, it's not Amazon.com, but it's Sales Central at Amazon.com. So once you start the registration process, um, it's very simple, and um, I don't have to talk in great detail, but there are a couple of things uh, I want to uh, mention to you. 
<clears throat> so first of all, um, you have to choose um, uh, whether your store uh, is going to be an individual store or a professional store. Uh, the differences between individual store and professional store is that uh, there is a thirty dollars or thirty, I think thirty or thirty nine dollars charge uh, per month for uh, for a professional store. Uh, you can always uh, start with registering as an individual store, and later uh, you can switch to uh, to professional store. So you can um, uh, choose a name uh, for your uh, store, and that store. Uh, the name of the store can reflect the product, uh, your business philosophy, or you know anything you know you want. You have a name for the store that has nothing to do with the name of your company. Yeah, it's total can be they are, they can be totally uh, different, and you can change your store name uh, at any time uh, you want. Okay. So after you enter all this information, um, your Amazon store. Basically, it's up and running, and uh, that's all for today. Uh, and I'll see you until uh, next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.